So lay on your right side, that's your pillow, and put your left shoulder up. There you go. So the spiel that I would give the clients is this. They would come into the chiropractor's office, they don't know what time massage is, that's no-go. I wouldn't even call it time massage in my case. If you're in a community where they know what time massage is, then you've got a little more leeway. What I would say is like, hey, where do you hurt, Tristan? And they'd say, oh, my upper back and my neck. I'm like, cool, listen, take off your shoes, lay down on the table just like you are. I want to move you around and see where we're going to work. Quickly. Normally they would go, wait, what? You, you don't mean to take all my clothes? I'm like, no. No, I need to be able to move you around. Just leave your clothes on. Just slide off your shoes for me. And I would come in and do this. Hey, listen, is this up here? Is this what you're having problems with? Is that, is that what normally kind of hurts? Right in there? Yeah, that is. Kind of in there? Okay. Yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to work on that and kind of open that up. Then, nine times out of ten, what would happen is this. I would come in and I'd say, hey, listen, is that like a little more comfortable for you? Yes. Cool. Sometimes if I knew they were going to be here for a while, I could bolster them. In this, in this instance, I'm not. I'm just moving them around real quick just to see what's going on. And I go, listen, this is bothering you? Cool, all right. How's that feel in there? Okay. Yeah. Does that feel like that upper back stuff you got? Yeah. And then normally the verbal kind of intake would continue. Hey, I forgot to ask you, Tristan, what do you do for work? I'm a massage therapist. You're a massage therapist. Oh, so you're leaning over a table all day, causing slouched forward posture just like everybody who works at a computer and a keyboard. So just reinforce fingers. If you don't like the fingers, you can flatten down to some, some flat knuckles as well. Just depends on you and how much space there is between the shoulder blade. Now, how about this, Tristan? How's this? Oh, that feels good. Yeah. It feels nice on the neck. You feel it in the neck, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm essentially lifting him. Now, you'll notice the difference between what I did just now and what I did in the first class was in the first class, I went, hey, you have upper back and neck pain? And I went and worked on their feet. Traditionally, you start at the feet, you work your way up. Western clients, table base, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I've only got an hour. I'm going to do this for like five, seven minutes on one side. I'll flip him over, do five, seven minutes on the other side. Fifteen minutes of the session is already gone. He's still clothed. Then I go, Tristan, do you want to keep doing what we're doing? Or do you want to take off your shirt, lay down face first in the face rest, and do deep tissue along your you know, back? Nine times out of ten, what would they say, Tristan? They go, no, this is, this is really good. Can we keep doing this? And I'm like, sure. That's how I did table tie. When it was over and they were wowed by it, I'd say, oh, it's, it's time massage. I did you know, what I can on a table. Normally it's done on a mat, something I would kind of, got a, kind of a lead in. Because if they booked for this again, and they're like, no, I want to see the, the guy that does the stretching thing, then it built this platform where my boss went, whatever you want to do, put in a mat. Make sense? Mm 